I found this tiny musk turtle hatchling on October the 5th uh, on the street and took it home, put it in my little hatchling tank. It only weighed one gram. I kept it for just 11 days and released it today. Uh, today it weighs two grams. You can see in the photos it's slightly larger. Uh, so I have a little video here of the release. Okay, it's October 16th, 2017. This is my little hatchling tank. It's uh, about 22 inches uh, in length and the width is about uh, 12, uh, maybe 14 inches, the height. Well, the water depth is about five inches and uh, it's loaded with uh, live uh, string plants uh, like hydrilla, uh, which uh, mud turtles and musk turtles, in fact, all turtles, all aquatic turtles love. Big piece of Mopani wood uh, for basking. Uh, all of this little musk turtle, uh, which we rescued 11 days ago, um, never did bask the whole time. He just hangs right in there. Uh, you can just see him there, maybe. Let me get close. Oops, he scared him. Uh, this is a, an adorable little turtle and rescued him off the street and today we're going to release him. I would have kept him a little bit longer but uh, we're getting too close to the edge of uh, winter and uh, I don't know when the weather's going to change but I want this guy to have plenty of time to get used to the, uh, to the lake where we're taking him to release him at Lake Park here in Tampa. Anyway, uh, I'm going to get him out of here now and put him in a little transfer tub and bring him to the lake and then I'll continue this video. Uh, at that time when I get there. Oh, by the way, that's a heat lamp. And this lamp here is a uh, UVA, UVB uh, light. So that provides basking. Uh, and the, uh, this lamp provides some heat. And there's also a heater, an in, in, in the water heater. Let me just come around here. A uh, very small um, heater to keep the water at about 78 degrees. And that's it for now, until I uh, release them. Okay, I'm at Lake Park. It's uh, the 16th of October, 2017, and I'm about to release a little tiny two gram musk turtle hatchling that uh, was rescued off the street. And I've had him for 11 days now, and he's um, doing well. He only weighed one gram when I brought him home. And uh, this uh, little area here has a lot of shallow water, duckweed, heavy vegetation, uh, a good place for a little hatchling to uh, hide and hopefully survive. And I'm going to release them right now. Uh, I have a little tub here with some uh, string plants in it. Uh, transporting the turtle from my home to uh, the lake is somewhat traumatic. And uh, so I try to make it as comfortable for him as I can. Come on, little guy. He is not liking this. Ah, come on. There we are. There he is. And he's adorable. And he's about to uh, become a free turtle. And he was uh, having a pretty good time there in the big tank at home because uh, he had it made and he was getting fed shrimp and chicken and gizzards and uh, live earthworms and uh, just having a great time. And now I'm going to just put him right here in the shallows and let him go. And this is really hard for me. Okay, little guy, good luck. And you be careful out there, okay? You're okay. This is your new home. Go for it. Go ahead. You always do that when I release them. They stop and uh, they look around they're not quite sure just what the heck is going on and where they are and everything looks different so they're naturally cautious so letting him take in the uh, surroundings okay little guy this is home you be careful there's frogs in here big enough to eat you so you watch out okay Let me give him a little push here. Get him going. Come on, buddy. There you go. And he's gone. Oh, my. That's sorry. It's really hard letting these guys go. They are so much fun. When they're uh, at home, 
in my hatchling tank and uh, they're adorable. Oops, backing out of the muck here. Ah. And uh, he's a free turtle. So hopefully he'll uh, do well, survive, and uh, become an adult. Live a long life here at Lake Park. It's a great place, cluster of lakes here. There's quite a few, I think five lakes or something like that. Uh, I don't know, I can't probably see out there too well. The sun is probably, uh, there we go, it's coming around. You can see the lake out there. All these tall reeds provide cover. Lots of duckweed on the water. Um, the area where I let him go, a lot of grass is growing so he can hang on and, and, and uh, get used to the deeper water. All kinds of great vegetation here. Um, he should do fine. And that's it. Another, uh, that's the fourth uh, hatchling re rescued and released uh, this summer. So um, I don't know if we'll have many more or any more as we approach winter, but uh, I'm glad we were able to save those four little hatchlings because they would not have survived on the road. Hope you enjoyed this video.